time to say it's curriculum. I'm just having a bit of a party under the sea with Sebastian the Crab and the Little Mermaid. Look at all the amazing life. And I saw from your ocean scenes you made the other day, you've been looking at ocean life as well. It's been absolutely brilliant. Now, today, we are going to be looking a little bit closer at the different types of life that live under the sea. Uh, and I've got this to show you. This is a great big shell. What do you think might have lived in here? This is from under the sea. It's got a conch shell. And inside here would have lived a giant kind of undersea snail. Look at it, it's absolutely beautiful. And if you hold it to your ear, you can hear the sea. So the sea is full of amazing, amazing creatures. And we're going to go and look at a few more. Okay, so I've created this ocean scene. Okay, just to show you some of the life we have in our ocean. Now, we have our humpback whale, which we met on Monday, and that's on about the snail and the whale. We have all sorts of different types of fish, loads of different fish in the sea, angel fish. We've got dolphins, we've got seahorses, we've got all sorts of things, and things like clams and oysters, and oh, it, the sea is just so full of amazing things, okay? Let's go a little bit further and see if we can learn more about life under the sea. Okay, so let's have a close look at life under the sea. Now, the other day you watched a video that showed you some of the things under the sea, but today we're going to look a little bit deeper, okay, and a little bit closer at some of the things. I can't show you everything because there's so much under the sea, we'll be watching it for 100 years. So let's have a go, okay? Now, the first thing that we're going to show you is mammals. Okay, it's a big word, mammals. Can you say mammals for me? Now, a mammal is like me. It's like you. It's something that has warm blood and hair. Okay. We are mammals. Chimpanzees are mammals. Cats are mammals. Dogs are mammals. Okay. And there is mammals that live in the sea. Okay. Here's one. Just like in our story, a whale, all whales are mammals. Okay, they are warm blooded, they're not fish, they're mammals. Okay, they're just made to swim. They still need to come up to the air to breathe it. Okay, they can't survive underwater without breathing, they have to go up to the surface to breathe. That's why they have those big holes at the top of their head. That's a blowhole. Okay, so it blows the water out after they've breathed, breathed some in when they've been getting their air. Okay. Seal, this is a grey seal, a harbour seal, and that's a mammal too, okay, and dolphins. So these are all mammals that live in the sea. Not all the mammals, but just some of the mammals I want to show you. Next we have fish. Now you know the sea is full of fish. There's so many different varieties of fish, so many different sizes, colours, shapes. There's just millions of them, and they're all beautiful looking okay we've got some clownfish here that look like nemo some angel fish and some nice i'm not sure what they are nice little glittery blue ones okay they come in all sorts of different colors now fish need to breathe underwater they have what's called gills okay they don't breathe air like us they have to breathe through their gills now if you take a fish out of water it won't survive it needs to be in the water to breathe so unlike the mammals which need air like us and the whales and the dolphins and the seal fish need to stay underwater and did you know that sharks are fish too they might look like whales and dolphins but they are actually fish they have gills at the side of their heads and just like the fish if they come out of the water for too long they won't survive so here's a great white shark and all sharks are fish we have something called crustaceans okay a very long funny word crustaceans and that just means things like lobsters and crabs now crabs and lobsters have eight legs can you think of another animal that lives well some of you might be in your house or in your garden have eight legs spiders spiders have eight legs and crabs and lobsters have eight legs and they also have big pinches at the front you can see the lobster and the crabs with its big pinches and they're called crustaceans and there's so many other weird things that live in the sea. We have jellyfish that have no bones. They just float around, okay, with big stinging tentacles. We have seahorses. They're not actual horses. They're actually fish. 
but they look like horses. They're seahorses. We have manta rays like this great big one here. And we have reptiles that live in the sea like this sea turtle. So there's so much life in the sea. And also, we have things like squids and octopuses. OK, that have tentacles, big eight tentacles with suckers on that suck their prey and they attach to things and suck them. OK, and they are one of the most cleverest animals on the planet, octopus and squid. And deep down below, we have some really, really weird fish deep in the sea where there's no light and it's all dark. We have these strange things like this angler fish and this goblin shark looks at its face and its mouth. Oh, it's beautiful. So the sea is full of so many weird things. Little game, OK, and this is called What Am I Looking At? And what I'm going to do, I'm going to play, press the play button here and it's going to show you through my sea goggles little bits of a picture. And you've got to try and guess what it is. OK, and these are all things that we've seen today in our lesson. OK, so here we go. What do we think this is? Let's have a look. Oh, it's a fish of some kind. What do you think it is? Should we play it again? go it is angel fish it's a lovely looking fish let's have a look at the next one let's see what we've got here well, i think i've seen one of these before on disney on a disney film let's have a look i think it's a brown fish there we go what we got next? It's a funny looking thing. Oh, I know what this is. I saw some pinches there and I'm sure I saw some eight legs. Let's have another look. It's a, it's a crab. Let's have a look. The next one. We have got, oh, what's this? So it looks big. Hmm. Well, I think it was one of the mammals we saw before. Let's have a look. It's a dolphin. Let's have a look at these. Uh, oh, these are very strange looking things. It looks like they've got lots of stinging tentacles on them. What do you think this one is, guys? It's jellyfish. Look at them there. Next. Oh, it's one of my favourites. Some suckery tentacles there. Well, there's eight of them. Mm, what has eight tentacles with suckers on that lives in the sea? Let's have a look. Uh, an octopus. What's this one here? Let's have a look. Oh, it's got a hard shell on its back. Hmm. Let's have another look. It's got a hard shell and flippers. It looks like a tortoise, but it's not a tortoise. A sea turtle. And I think we've got one more. Let's have a look at this one here. Oh, that looks like a horse. Can't be a horse. So horses don't live in the sea. What is it? It's a... Seahorse. Well done if you got that one there. We've got one more. Oh, it looks quite scary. Oh, it's a type of fish, but it's big and it's got sharp teeth. Let's have a look what it is. Huh? It's, I think it's a shark. It is. It's a shark. Whoa. Well done if you got all those right. That was quite a tough game, that, but I enjoyed that. Okay, let's move on and see what work I Okay, so today's job for your curriculum is to create a fact file, okay? Now a fact file is just where you put information about something, okay? So my fact file is gonna be on the humpback whale. So I've, I've been a bit naughty, I've not drawn my picture, I've cut it out from the computer, but I want you to draw your sea animal, okay? So it can be any animal you've looked at today. And then what I want you to do is to try and write some things about it, some facts about it. So I'm going to say that my whale is large. 
It's big, it's large, okay? So next to it, I'm gonna write large because whales are huge, aren't they? They're really big. So I'm gonna go for my little, and I'm making sure my writing is the best it can be. Large. So there's one fact I put about my whale. Now, mm, what else can I say about my humpback whale? Mm. Oh, I know what it eats. And I remember that my whale eats krill. Okay. So I'm going to write our krill here. Okay, so we'll go on this side. And I'm feeling a little bit clever, so I'm going to write eats krill. So, and you might need some help with this one, so I'm going to put uh, uh, krill. Now, krill's a funny word. It's got a kicking cut. Here. Yeah. And my two alls together. Okay, so eats krill. So I put large and it eats krill. Okay, what else can I put now? I've learned today that it's a mammal. I've learned today that my whale is a mammal, okay? And if you're struggling spelling that, ask your adult or go back in the video and see if you can copy the word mammal, okay? So let's have a look. So, m, a, m, m, a, oh, mammal. So it's large, it eats krill, and it's a mammal. And my last thing is, hmm, what can I put about my last thing for my whale? And, oh, it's got flippers. I'm going to put it's got flippers. So, and how many flippers has it got? It's got one, two. So it has two flippers. And that is my fact file about my whale. Now remember, you can do any sea creature you like. You can have a little go on Google and see if you can find some facts about your sea creature. Make it into a lovely poster. It doesn't have to look like mine. It can be any poster you want, okay? Just make sure you've put some information, some facts about your sea creature. See you Friday for another curriculum lesson. <laughs> And that's all, folks.